assalamu alaikum in this short talk i would like to go over some of the points for selecting or finalizing a supervisor in charge a researcher that you would like to work with for your phd and also getting trained for your higher education there are two points that you should keep in mind number one uh, any teacher that you're going to work with or supervisor uh, what is their standing in the field overall and also their research focus. Uh, the research focus is of course of great interest for you um, and that should be your priority number one. Uh, but once you pass that uh, line or that particular issue, the next would be to see if that professor is either very famous, uh, he's uh, a little bit senior, meaning any senior professor or researcher would not have as much of time spending with you as when she's going to be traveling around for conferences, meeting, collaborations, and also doing other duties, which are working as a reviewer or, you know, for a grant officer or, you know, somebody who reviews grant, um, I mean, and also presenting um, educational talk in another institution. This is a plus point. That means he has a lot of connections, a lot of collaboration that might help you in the future. But uh, on the other side, he may not have that much time spending with you. So that's a pro and cons of, you know, working with somebody who's senior or who has a lot of, uh, you know, good standing in the research community. Second one, if you have the choice to work um, with a junior faculty, he, would, he or she may have a lot of time spending with you. Uh, they will train you very well because you are you may be one of those few uh, phd students that he has to train so he will spend good amount of time with you and give you a lot of uh, uh, you know training uh, which is you know would be um, beneficial for both uh, because he would like to publish good papers and good journals which definitely going to help him finding you know good grants uh, because getting grants is not easy these days and you know any senior professor or uh, faculty member can easily get them uh, relatively uh, the junior one has to really struggle for it so he would definitely want you to be productive uh, uh, so that's a good thing but you know on the other hand uh, he may not have that much of a connection or collaboration as the senior one is so these are the things that you should keep in mind there is no right and wrong answer uh, you just do not uh, look at their seniority their age um, their nature uh, is very important and how would you know about their nature is you can uh, try to con contact their uh, current uh, students and try to get a good um, you know overall perception about them uh, professionally do not ask you know question that you think might go against you so be professional and ask their student that you know how would, how do they like about the overall environment of the research lab and you know how is you know how he and his student, uh, etc., etc. So that might give you a good understanding of the professor overall. Uh, you can also Google them. Beside reading about their biography, their current research, their talking to a student, you can read about them online. Uh, everything you know is available online these days. You can really read about the person uh, in detail. So if he or she is uh, acting as a president of any conference, any society, any symposium. Uh, you know what people say about them and you know what kind of other responsibility do, do they have uh, beside that um, you can also uh, you know get a good idea uh, through uh, you know social media these days like you can find LinkedIn uh, and any other uh, you know social media that they may have account on and you can definitely search this is something very which is very uh, you know uh, obvious professional and also something that is available to anybody and there is nothing wrong uh, that if you'd like to uh, know about uh, in charge or your professor that you would be working soon in the future for your uh, research endeavor. The reason I am emphasizing on that is you will be spending with them about three to five years depending on you know where you go, which country, uh, what is the program, which degree program you are going after, uh, after. So you may have three to five, six years to spend with them and you do not want to end up with somebody who is very harsh or strict. Uh, so you know it does happen. Uh, so don't take it as a first priority to select, uh, but once you have the choice of selecting among uh, different uh, in charge uh, professors, definitely look into that. Or even if you have one offer, you definitely would like to know about their personality before you go into their lab so you can easily fit in in their lab. I hope it is helpful. Please leave any comments you have, and I will try to address this issue in the future. Allah and good luck.